because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, this is the number we were looking at in the Dow Jones on the daily. If you remember, there's the number we were expecting to get to uh, 41, 42,120. It's, uh, believe it or not, folks, it's 800 points below the uh, price of the Dow Jones index itself. I, I've never seen anything like that. Now, it's very important, like I said previously, that we close, let's get back up here. We'll watch it real closely here. Whoops, let's go back and uh, I think we used a 13 minute, didn't we? I think that's what we did. Yep, there's where we are. Okay, here's what's happened so far today. We had that high, then the market came down. You can see the ABCD structure that we had here right now. We'll just draw this in for today. I know I nothing news under the sun. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. It came in right here. We've had a nice rally from this level right here. But, folks, like I mentioned, if we close, this is a day, a what do we call a um, last day of the month in an up week and an up month, last day of the week in an up week. And it's also a uh, holiday, day before a holiday, which puts the odds of this thing closing higher. It just has to close a little bit higher. Right now, I think it's about unchanged. But if it closes lower, the odds of this thing going down uh, substantially are quite a bit for reasons that I've already uh, I've already talked to. So, anyway, that's what I just want to make you know, just give you ten cents worth, three cents worth, whatever you want to look at it. But that's what we're paying attention to here. I hear this morning now we had a, this trade here in the British pound, just uh, keeps on giving and giving and giving. So. Uh, you know, it should be pretty good. As you, as you notice here, that we sold this. Hold on, let's get back here. There's, this was just an eight-minute chart. There's where we sold it here, right back here, folks. And you can see, we've had a pretty nice move uh, to the downside. The same thing is true of the wheat. As you take a look here, the wheat is now up uh, considerably, well over 30 cents. Get the price up here so we can see it here on that long-term weekly. There was our price right down here. You can see where we are right now. We're, we're coming up much stronger here. Draw this up. There it is. There was our second 382 retracement was right here. You'll draw that in. You'll be able to see it without too much trouble. I know it's a repeat of everything, but repetition is the mother of not. Oh, dear. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Move this up here. And you'll see there was your 382. That tells us that we should be able to get to at least this level right up here, 558. If that's the area you want to be looking to take profits in, I would say go ahead. But frankly, folks, if you want to do it the professional way, and I'm certainly far away from professional as anyone can get, because I've made so many mistakes over the years, but this is a double 1.618 up in here. We should get a correction from there. Now, since we had this low right here, you notice that we did have one little correction here, which was yesterday. Your high down to your low. It again went, it, ah, there it is. I know it was exact because that's not showing it exact, but I know it's exact. Uh, maybe I'm off by a penny. I don't think that I am. Uh, this is wrong. That's why. Hold on just a second here. Anyway, that low, there it is right there. There's your low right there. And so we should have some resistance up in here. So if you want to look to take a profit up in there, that would be a substantial profit of about $1,750. But if it keeps going higher, you're going to kick yourself in the rear end for not doing it. But, you know, it's it's up to you. I'm going to let you decide. i got enough things to worry about other than that, okay? All right, let's move on here to the gold market because it's starting to uh, – give up a little bit it missed our target that we wanted to sell it at now today we did have a small ABCD here at 5860 but it missed it because the high was 258.10 so that missed it by about 70 cents and you can see we're coming down now but if you believe 
what we teach here, which is watch for those three, eight, two retracements. There was your first one. There was your second one. We'll just draw these in so you'll be able to see what they looked like when they occurred. And there's your three, eight, two coming in uh, right there. And boom, down she went. We had another one right here. And it's still going lower. We made a 1.618 here. So this should be some pretty good support in here. And uh, the reasoning, oh, here's the reason right here. We took out this low by just a little bit, and it didn't go any lower. So that's it. Now, if you're in the, if you're in the gold market or interested in being in it, watch for what we call the 382 retracement of the last big high, which was right back here. It's not very far away. It's only 8 bucks. So watch this. Oh. Watch this level here in gold for today. This should be really strong resistance here at 1240, okay? Just like this one right here should have been strong resistance. But this will be even stronger because you can have more bars here to tell you that you are correct. Because the number of bars designates the time, and that's the main thing that we're looking at. Now, we also, if you remember, we've been short Japanese yen up until today. You'll be able to see here, we'll get this four-hour chart up here because we exceeded the 382 for the first time in a very long time, folks. Now, remember, we covered our position right here. We put it back on right here, and then we stopped it out. This is where we sold it. We stopped it out once it went above the 382 of this whole move down. That's the first time it's done that. Remember, this goes back a long time, folks. So there was the first. We caught that whole thing down, folks. That's a substantial move. You like to see those. Shorted it here. Looked like it was going to work. It didn't. As soon as it took out that high, it told you it was going to go higher, and now we're working higher. So you just got to be be patient and wait and see uh, what's going to happen. Now we have a question from someone in the market here, and that is the Nasdaq. We're going to bring this up here. There's our Nasdaq for the last couple of days. I'll clean all this out so we can see what we did for the Nasdaq today. Now remember, we did not make a new high in any of the indexes so far today. It's still a bit early. Now, on today's action, as you can see yesterday, we went exactly to the 61% retracement of this move right here, right when the show was going up. I, I did something wrong because I'm out there. We got the wrong 618. That's why, cowboy. Let's get the right one back here. There it is. That's when we were on the air yesterday. If you remember, we stayed here for one, two, three, four hours, and then we broke down towards the end of the day. And where did we stop? You'll be able to see in just a second from your low up to your high, you stopped almost exactly at the exact 618. And now you have this pattern going on right now, which may or may not lead to this pattern right here. Folks, the people that run these markets, and I'm talking about the really smart guys from uh, – uh, D.E. Shaw and Renaissance and um, Andrew Lowe's MIT group, these guys know these numbers pretty well. I know that they uh, know how to use them because I see the market bounce off of them so much. But it's really super important that the mar stock market uh, closes uh, up today because if it doesn't, folks, it's, it's just uh, very, very negative uh, for the reasons that I've already uh, told you about. So. I don't know if that's going to help you or not, but anyway, that's what's happening so far. What we want to do now is see where the NASDAQ here, and we'll do that. When we get back, we'll move down to a smaller time frame, and we'll take a quick look at it. And here it is. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education 
educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks are watching the NASDAQ. As you can see here, we went above the 382 here. We stopped at the 50%. What we want to do is we want to look at the Russell because the Russell overall is the weakest because, you know, longer term, the Russell has been in a major downtrend, made its high several years ago, and has never even uh, exceeded that level all during this whole time. So we're going to take a look at the Russell today. We'll get this up here on an eight-minute chart, and we'll see where the bounce is coming. Here's where we are. There's where we were yesterday, if you remember, folks. There's where that big pattern was. I said I'd be a seller there at 26 with a stop at uh, 66, uh, 20, at 36. Had a nice move down, rallied up today to the 7.8, made the ABCD to the downside. You'll see that the low that we made from back here up to this level right here, how could it stop exactly at that number, boys and girls? Does it know that number? That's the same number it was right here. Well, now we've had a rally. Okay, now we're going to look at this rally because it should tell us a little bit. All right, there's the move up. Okay, now we had a couple of small 382s in here. But let's look at the big one. That's one we're watching right. Oh, shut the front door, Larry. I think this is wrong because it goes higher, doesn't it? Yep, quite a bit. So let's get this thing up here so we can see it correctly. There's your high. There's your low. It has not made the 382 as yet. So there's your place. To have a legitimate 382 in the Russell, it's up about another six points and where we're five points where we are right now. Stop would have to be above this level. We closed lower now. Remember, this is where we closed on Thursday. Look where we are. We're substantially below the close. That's not a good sign, folks. Sorry for my vo voice, folks, but uh, we're finishing up our autumn season now, and I'm still having a tiny bit of allergy. All that ends here in about two weeks. No more allergies, which is always good. Okay, now let's come over here and look at the uh, E-mini S&P because that's the one that most people trade, and it's also a pretty good one. Now you can see here there's our rally today that we had. Let's see where it went to. Just clean all this out. And there's our high right back here on Friday, Thursday. Our high today came right between 618 and the uh, 786. Then we had a pretty big move down. Let's draw this in right here because I happened to do this trade. We had this from a high down to your low. 
you came right to the almost exact 382. It dropped 25 handles, and now it's rallied back up. So we have to see what that new level is. So we mark it from the high, oh, it's 50%. I can see that right now. Uh, yeah, pretty much right to the 50% level. Now we're back trading right at the 382 level at this time right now. So the key here is that we have to close. Let's get back over here to see it because yesterday's close was right in here. So we need to close this market above where it's trading right now. It needs to close above 5610. Write this down, folks. 5610. S&P can close above 5610. That would be right in here. That means it's going to have an up close from where we were last Friday, uh, Thursday. And that means it's an up close on Friday and an up week and an up month and the day before holiday. But if none of those things happen and we close lower, do not expect to buy prices at a higher price on Tuesday, folks, or Sunday night, because they're going to be a lot lower if, in fact, that does happen. But it may or may not. Now, here's another one that we talked about yesterday uh, a little bit, and uh, it had started to look like it was going to have some bullishness here. But here was the uh, crude oil this morning. Uh, there was the first 382 pattern was right here. There was a second one off of this right there, right on the money. Then you had a small look like this ABC. He was going to make it, and it didn't. But all it did, as a member, you always rechange the 382 number so you get back to that last high, which was right there. And there's your three. Oh, it misses it by quite a bit. Let's try that one. No, it still doesn't. That's not even an ABCD because it doesn't take out the previous high. I know that's a legitimate 382 because I was watching that one. There's your 382, and then we have another little bit here, but that's not much to even pay attention to because it's only, you know, you can't, that's untradeable, so you don't even want to mess with that darn thing. Just forget about it. Looks like we're heading lower. If we look at this on the longer term price action of the 60 minute, you'll see we're heading down. Okay, there's a, here was your first kick, uh, clue that it wasn't going to make it here. We couldn't get above this high. And then there's where it started down. Your 382 was right up in here, and then boom, down it came. And that usually means, and I mean usually in the fondest sense, move this over here, and you'll be able to see, oh, I have to share something with you from our good friend Bill Meridian, who will be our guest next week. We're getting down here, folks, some major, major support here in the crude oil. So get your little trading pencil out because this is one you probably ought to do. Because we're already through the 61, we're heading down to this level right here. There's your last line of resistance right here, 72, 72. Uh, if you're a buyer here at the 618, look how long it stayed there, folks. Several hours before it started to break, telling you that this ABCD was pushing it down here to either this level or this level right here. Because we haven't even... Uh, just we've been flute, flute, Well, we just took the low of the day out by just a few minutes ago. So it's holding... Uh, what do you call it, precariously on a ledge and it's heading lower probably down into this level uh, right in here is what I would be watching if we did the expansions of these moves you have a pretty good idea where it might go there's your first level right here and remember this is the area the zone where everything comes together so you want to pay that one uh, very very close attention it may work and it may not work. No one knows the answer to when these work or when they do work. But we do have an answer for someone, and that's about Apple. And Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, get this up here so everybody can see it here. And there's Apple right here. It's still going probably nuts to the upside. Let's see what we got here today. Oh, it's actually down a bit. Let's just check and see what could have possibly called that. There's Apple over the last several days. I see an A, B, C, D here. Johnny, keep your... Little pencil out there. There's your AB leg. There's your C dig. We're at 32. We're now at 28. And we've been drifting lower uh, all day long. So it's important, folks, that these uh, stock indices close higher on the day because if they do not, uh, you're going to see something really dramatic next week. What would be the reasoning behind it? I do not know. There might not be any news at all, but statistics say that this is not a positive thing. If you're in an up week and an up month on the day before a holiday, that doesn't happen very often, folks. Go back and look at it. But uh, we could. This is we got a nice. We got game on this one here. 
right now. Okay, now we had our first run. Let's go to the hourly so we can see it really better because we probably reached some really good support up in here. There it is. Oh, my goodness. A, B equals C, D. Johnny, get the old placard out, buddy. There's a beauty right here. There's A, B. Okay, there's C, D right there. And here we are right now going down to a smaller time frame of four minutes. You'll see that. Guess what? Looks like we made a 382 just now. We're really close to it. Yep, there it is right there. It's trading almost there now. So if uh, we don't get a bunch above here, we're probably getting ready to make a bigger correction in soybean oil. That's what we're looking at. Let's take a break here. Ben Bernanke, former chairman of the Federal Reserve, hopefully will be our guest today. I just took a book with him from his uh, third home in Costa Rica, and hopefully he'll be uh, available in just a few minutes. But so far, we have to wait for his call. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. We'll be right back. Boys. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at the MAGA stocks. This is the NVIDIA. You can see here, since uh, the high was made way back here in June, uh, we've been lower highs through here. 
Uh, this did not make it subjective on this. And then the last rally that we had back, which was yesterday, and you'll see after their inner earnings report that came out, we went right up exactly to the 78% level. I mean, how do you make this up? But the important thing is, look where we are right now, folks. We're getting really close to the 382, so there might be really good support here. We're going to find that out. I will say this, if we close lower today in the stock market, this support is going to be uh, what we call a figment of someone's imagination. All right, the next one we're going to look at here is Amazon. Of course, this is Amazon on the weekly. And as you can see here, we had that big high up here, 199. Well, let's call that 200. The high came in at uh, 201, so we missed that one. And then you can see here we stopped right at this level right here. And you'll draw from your low up to your high, and you stop exactly at the 61% retracement. And where did we rally up to? Rallied up to the 61% retracement, and here's where we are right now. And this is the weekly. So if we take a look at this on a smaller time frame, you'll see that we have some of a doubt downward bias. We're up today, which is, you know, you can see here we gapped up, which is good, but we're looking at this picture right back here because we've got a beautiful ABCD forming folks this isn't it the ABCD comes in right here so pay attention to this one either today or Monday if that's the case at 177 because that would be a perfect Gartley you had the explosion to the upside uh, that was yesterday okay and now we're moving higher as you can see this little action today we got higher bottoms you can see that it's going up here, 170. That's only two points away, for God's sake. I mean, that's not very much. Should make that in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll move over here and take a look here now. This is Avco, also known as Broadcom. I have a poker story about that one, but it don't make any difference now because the fellow is up there in the poker gods right now. This is because of the stock split back in July. Uh, market rallied up a little above the 786. It's been one of the better performing ones. You see on this pullback that we've had here over the, the past month, the only thing we could do was just barely, and I'm talking barely, miss the 382 here by uh, two points. And there's where we are right now. So there's nothing really super exciting going on with the, I don't trade stocks. I'm doing this because someone asked me to look at it. And if they're nice to call in, I will try to answer the question. And if I can't, I'll make something up to the best of my ability. Now, here's where we are with Google, folks. Now, this is, a, this is an important one. to get this out of the way here. We made a higher high right here, and we're going to blow this up so we can see this because it encompasses what we like to talk about, and that is the old 382. We high down to your low. You'll see we came. See the 382 there? We came within $1.00. That was at 170, and we got to uh, high was uh, 169.90. We're looking at 170, so within 60 cents, it hit the 382. We're now down 5%. This is not a good sign on the long-term weekly. Let's just look at that on the daily. You'll be able to see a lot easier, and there it is. There's your daily one. There's your 382 right here, and now it's, let me reset these defaults here. There's where we can see it better. Okay, see, there's what we're watching here. And I'll draw that 382 again so you'll be able to see it where you're talking about it right here. And it misses it by a half a buck. And that happens. Okay, now we're going to take a look at this one's the one that's got serious trouble. This is semi, super, super micro semi. Whatever that means. It must be something super and micro. Here's the last few days you see here we've been uh, staying lower because we've gapped below our target, left a big gap, and it looks like it wants to go lower here. Couldn't even make the 382. This has been bearish for quite a while, folks, and this is part of the AI uh, scenario, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. Here is Apple. We've already covered Apple. Uh, get that? I don't think we did. Let's do it again. Yes, we did. There's Apple on the daily, and what we're going to do now is look at it on the 60-minute. We're down just a tad today, but nothing to really write home about. Still looks good. Tesla, how are we doing today in old Tesla? Let's take a look here. All right. There's our move here, right here. Someone asked me a question of what did I think of Elon Musk. I know two things about Elon Musk. He and I are not friends. We haven't met. Would have liked to have met him. The second thing is he is so much smarter than me, we can't even discuss it on the air here. Okay, folks? I'm just a little 
country boy out of Terre Haute, Indiana. You know, I got an IQ of 147, but to get that genius IQ, I had to take the test three times. I got 50, 50, and 47 to get to 147, but it got me in college, and that's what counts. This is still a bearish chart here over the, during the month of August. Look at this during the month of August. We're going to come up here and show you if you like these numbers. There's your buy point right here. I'm going to draw it in right here. There's your ABCD pattern right there, okay? Now it rallied right here. See how big gap up? See why it stopped right there? What you first you want to do is when you're trading these things, find out what the 382 is, right, Johnny? Hold that placard up for us one more time. There's your high, there's your low, and you see we went, oh, we did, we almost made 50%. Ooh, wow. Well, this is a difference of $3 on a $200 stock, but there was your 382 at 212. The high was uh, 214, almost, well, I'll call it 215, 214.88, and then we dropped all the way down to 204. We're just in this zone like this. But right now, it's holding okay. It's up pretty good today, which is a good sign after this big, big down move yesterday. So that's held. So if I was trading, I would be watching this to see what the low was yesterday, and we just move this over here. Okay, there was your first 786. This is the one I'm, I'm interested in right here. So I want to reset the default so I can see it clearly. There you do. Okay. All right. And here's what I'd be watching. For today's low, I would have seen, to see if it's going to hold the old 786. Well, it uh, there's the 618, there's the 786, and it's had a rally. So this is holding up okay, which is good. Because now we're still, you can see here from uh, yesterday, we're up on the day. Uh, excuse me, it's still down on the day, but not by very much. That sets up a potential short term here on Drexel, on Drexel. Tesla up at this level right up here, up around another $10 without any trouble. But then it's still in a downtrend, so we have to do that one at a time. Now here is uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, well, a prince among men, as they call him in the uh, circles of uh, whatever that Mimi circles are. Anyway, you see the ABCD pattern went a little bit higher high. This is what we did in the Dow Jones, folks. Did the same thing, a slightly higher high. Look at that. H higher high on a $400, $500 stock. It makes a higher high by $1. Boy, that's really bullish. And it closes lower. Well, this doesn't look very good right now, but it has some hope. And that hope lies in this move right here. Stay tuned, folks. We've got a little bit more coming up to this, and then from there we're going to move on to something we all understand, and that is cattle, hogs, corn, and wheat, and soybean. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I keep about 12 books on my desk here, ones that I go to quite a bit, but this is one of my favorites. It's called The Experts Speak. It's by Christopher Cerf and Victor Novisky, and what it is, it's 500 pages of really smart people and what they thought they knew that weren't crude. This is the back cover here. This is from Irving Fisher, October the 17th, 1929, professor of Yale University, charge of the business department. Stocks have reached what looks like a permanently high plateau. That was October 1929. Okay, here is one from uh, Gone with the Wind. If you remember Louis B. Mayer, who owned Metro Golden Mayer, was a really smart guy. He said, anyone thinking about making a Civil War movie has never made a nickel, and it was Gone with the Wind. And here's one of my favorites, Decca Recording Label, president of Decca Recording, says, we don't like the sound of this group. Guitars are on the way out. And so they passed on the Beatles contract in 1962. But my all-time favorite, I, I don't have to look in here because I know what it was. It was Wendell Wilkie. He was vice president of uh, Potential in December of 1941. It was at a breakfast meeting in Washington, D.C. at the White House. And he said, we will not go to war with Japan in 24 years, 24 days, or 24 months. And at that moment, they were hitting uh, – the USS Arizona there at uh, Pearl Harbor. So just because there's 500 pages of those folks, I'm on 300 of those 500 pages. That's how I know. It's just some of them are just so funny that I just can't believe, you know, I can't, you know, <laughs> the guy that was the coach of the the hockey team in 1980, okay, when they asked him when he had to play the Russians, what was your chance? He said, the chances of us beating the Russians were slim and none, is what he said. And yet they beat the Russians and won the gold medal. So just because people say something, including me, and most especially me, that doesn't mean very much, okay? All right, let's get back to Meta. Still in a downtrend. Doesn't look that good. I feel sorry for Mr. Buckerberg, but what are we going to do? Here's Softy. You can see here this has been one of the biggest of all and also – we're going to see we had a rally here. This is a weekly chart now. We're going to look at this uh, on the daily just so we can see it a little bit better. Then we'll get to some uh, grains and uh, cows and stuff. But there's the 382 that we hit right here. Still backing off. This is bearish. Now we'll get to the – we'll start out with the pigs. The pigs should have been in the sales today, folks. Let's see. I mentioned that to you yesterday. We're going to find out if we were correct or not. Here's the piggies on the December. We get the hourly up, and let's see if it worked. Uh oh, it's ready now. This is it. There's the number 1.27 AB equals CD. There's where we are right there at 72.83. It's trading at 72.87. You can't ask for anything better than that. There's A, as Mark would say. There's B, as Mark would say. There's C, as Mark would say. And there's D. And that's where it should stop right there, folks. We'll see if it's going to do it or not. But the risk here is about one point, And it's been going up, folks. Wow, can you believe this? This has gone up nine cents from the seventy-eight percent level right here. Boy, that that's a huge move. I didn't even trade that. I wonder why I didn't. Well, I'm too busy doing other stuff. But anyway, there's where we're 
looking at it right up here at your 1.27 level right at this level uh, right up in here okay we look at it really closely this is a 60 minute if you blew it up just a little bit more you'd be able to see a, a nice little ABCD culminating pretty much let's just do it so we can see it culminating right about the time that we're looking at that's right here just draw it in right here that looks like a pretty good place to be selling the hogs right up here around 73 stop would have to be 74 or so Keep a close eye on that. We've taken out the yesterday's high by a little bit. We're in the lower part of the range. That'd be the best time to sell them anyway. So we'll watch that one. Now we'll move over to the cows, and uh, we'll see how they're doing here in the cows. And that is this one. Or, or, that's August. Oh my goodness! What happened? Oh, we got to go to this one. Hold on, right here. They're still heading down. I think. Oh, they're moving a sideways action. I haven't traded cows in, since back down in here. And this is all we've done so far. They still look bullish, folks. The cows look bullish. And the reason why is this pullback here was only a 382 retracement. That was a tip off. There it is right there. There's your 382 right here. Stays here all day here on the 29th and 30th. And now we're starting to move a little bit higher. Hasn't gone up much. And all we've done here today is make this little ABCD. Looking at a uh, smaller time frame, you'll see it clearly. And there it is. About as clear as you can possibly get. There's your A leg right here, your B leg right here, your C D leg right up in there. That would have been a nice, uh, nice one today. That would have been a nice $400 trade if we were doing that, but we're not, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Now we'll switch over to the uh, wheat market. We've already covered it, but we need to cover it again because we have nice profits in it. And I, I hate to see, give any of it back, but like I mentioned before, uh, this is the December, and we're up at this zone right here. We're almost there. You can see here's where we are right back in there. There was our buy order down in here, working pretty good. This was our 382 pullback right here, which was a beauty right there at uh, 32, 532. That tells us that we're most probably heading to this zone right up here in the old wheat, and that will take us up here in another uh, six, seven cents, five cents lower. Uh, watch this level right up here. That's at uh, 1.6, 5.56. We've had a really good run here now for five days, folks, in a bear market. So I wouldn't get too nervous about this if you wanted to take your profit right here. Uh, just draw this out a little bit more. Uh-oh, we got to check out something. I see, I see something that might be a red flag. Shut the door and hold the presses. Leroy, we might have something here. Here's our high way back here on july the 4th okay and we come down and we are uh oh uh oh we're only nickel away from the 382 folks for heaven's sakes i don't know if i want to risk that last nickel being that close oh look what you have to give up well i'm gonna uh, you know what i'm gonna do folks Lo, oh, there's your six one i am gonna take profits in wheat can't miss it there's your there's your profit right here we're trading at 552 that's 30 cents that's fifteen hundred dollars. The original uh, stop was two hundred bucks. Now we're at fifteen hundred. So let's book it and say thank you and move on to the next thing. But one thing you got to be ready to do, boys and girls, write this down on the old calendar. If by the stretch of imagination the trading gods give you a three eight two off of any of these highs up in here, buy it, buy it because we've made a major major bottom down here in this puppy this is a big 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 buy so you want to be able to get it now i know when it's trading up here on monday and i got out of it too soon everybody will be knocking me in the head but we're up one two three four days okay in a bear market which is still bearish one two three four days what do we have coming in monday we've got a new moon that'll be on tuesday don't want anything to do with that i would rather be buying or get out of it here and not worry about these last few cents yes it might go wacko but it also might pull back and that would be the one that i'd really really like to be on so remember we'll draw this in real quickly here there's our low right back here Right now, we're, we're looking at here, whatever this high is, folks. See, I don't know where it's going to be here or up here. Watch the 382. Right now, that's 41. That's only down 10, 12 cents. The last correction, 10 cents. So keep a close eye. But I think it's got a chance. Hey, are you kidding me? The clock on the wall says it's almost time for a three-day weekend. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Open that last can of uh, medication for me, Sarah. Thank you very much.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the Dow Jones. We started the show with the Dow Jones. We're going to finish the Dow Jones. Okay, remember on the day, day, daily chart, we were looking here. We believe we've completed this on the on the cash market. We took out this high. This is where we are in a key level look at. You see a little red dot that I got there? Get this up here on the eight minute. If we close below this level right here, folks, 41,250. If we close below that, that is going to be a very, very, very negative sign. If we close below this, uh, that's going to be even more negative. But if we close below 41,250, that's 110 points from where we are right now. That will not be a good sign. Okay, we're not getting any help from the bond market, as you can see. We've been bearish that thing since Hector was a pup. Move that over here. You can see it's still heading down on the old bond market, and we're probably getting close to the bigger ABCD here in the bonds, but we're already through it, as you can see here. Well, that's a long-term one, too. Holy moly. Let's, get, let's do the hourly on this since we got a second or two. There's where we are. There's where we're really close. We got a very – a substantial support coming here in the bonds and if that fails and if that fails look out look out look out look out we're almost there now just about uh about 10 pips away closing below here below 123 we'll call it 122.31 or closing below 41,250 in the dow jones statistically will be uh, a negative uh, picture and i don't know if it'll happen or not but that's what we're Paying close attention here today, I would like to ask you to, uh, Labor Day coming up, a lot of people, believe it or not, don't have jobs. 
and be sure to try to help your neighbors the best you can. And most of all, try to join us next week because we're going to have Bill Meridian coming on. And we're also going to have a good friend. Oh, <coughs> hold on just a second. Uh, just lost. <laughs> Stan Harley's going to come back. And also we're going to have uh, Shane Smolian. And so that, and also Peter Elides next week. We've got a full week. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side on Monday. Have a wonderful three-day weekend, folks. May God bless. Mm-hmm.